When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? A thousand dollars. Fabulous. Plus the other two dresses. Three thousand dollars. This is three yes. million dollars, beautiful. You don't even have budget for a piece of bread. Now, like beef, yes. you don't need beef. That's fine. The chicken, I'm sure it was lovely, but you could do one thing. Could you please, like, leave the food alone? She's my little fantasy, and I haven't questioned yours. It just seems like an overblown little girl's party. What happened in there, Angelique? I need my big day to be my big day. That would be embarrassing. bride who likes everything pink. Weddings are a castle spouting a special drink. Weddings are events where your spending's out of sync. Meet newlyweds Zenobia and Dio. To keep their friends and families happy, this couple imagined two totally different receptions. Let's follow along and see if doubling up on the parties did double duty on their budget. My name is Zenobia. I'm a 26-year-old service analyst. I met Dio, a financial consultant, two years ago when we were set up on a blind date. That night, he showed me his true colors, and I showed him mine, pink. This is a story of how we planned two very different weddings on just one budget. The wedding weekend was a lot. <laughs> uh, definitely was a lot of fun. I mean, we had two parties. First day was chaos. Second day, day two, fabulous. It was pretty good. It's amazing. Well, it may have seemed fabulous on the wedding day, but the journey there was anything but. Let's turn back the clock and see how the road to their two wedding days was paved with disagreement. I wanted a wedding planner to do all the stuff that basically I didn't want to do. I wanted to show up, be fabulous, and everything to look great. I didn't really care so much about how that got done. I just knew that I really didn't want to do it. Wedding planner Angelique Sobchak brings with her 14 years of experience. But will it be enough to rein in this free-spending bride and bring this two-tiered wedding in under budget? Why is it you keep making Dio go down in price? I know. Because we have a budget, Angelique. Now you're talking oh! about budget. My role as a wedding planner is really to be the voice of everybody, the vendors, the bride and groom, and make everything come together and run smoothly for the day. Can you guys maybe describe to me your wedding? Well, yeah, okay. Well, you can go first. Thank you. My wedding is girly and glamorous and pink and wonderful and chic on day two on Sunday. And his is day one for him and his family and all yes. those, those needs. Okay. Your wedding and your wedding? Two weddings? Yes, two. Two ceremonies, two no. days. One ceremony, but there'll be two receptions Why? spread on two days. Because he can't compromise. Well, it's I, I'm willing to compromise, but then the family has expectations. Okay, so his wedding is so traditional, it's disgusting. There were issues with the wedding on my side because my family's Portuguese traditional. and traditional, so Zenobia. It's just, you know what, I, I'm, I love him and I'm so excited to marry you, but I'm not excited to compromise my entire day because I'm the bride. So what we decided in the, in the interest of fairness is that he would have his day and I would have mine. So yeah. it's, it's like two. Okay, yeah. so we're, we're gonna need to mediate this and we're gonna need to make sure that you're both feeling you've been given a fair percentage of the budget. Me and Dior are not at all on the same page when it comes to vision for the wedding. It slowly became this thing where his family and what their expectations were were definitely overtaking me. There's no room for me in my own wedding. So I have my own day, which is all about me because realistically, there's no room for me in his vision. So I had to make my own. I need to first ask a very important question. Who's paying for this wedding? We are. We both are, yeah. Together. Mm -hmm. yes. So are you paying for your wedding and you paying for your wedding? He's paying for the majority of both weddings. Yes. It's fallen on my shoulders, but we're working together with it. Okay. But I have full creative control because I'm the bride. You right. can't have any of this without me. So he can't plan anything without passing it by you? Pretty much. Okay, how many guests are you gonna have? 140. Okay, and how many guests are you gonna have? About the same. About so you're doing, okay, so 140 and 140. Okay. So let's start with day one. Can you tell me what do you want? Well, the first day, definitely there has to be food and lots of it. Okay. And there has to be an open bar. Okay, so do you have a venue for day one and or day two? Yeah, the great thing is that we're using the same venue for both days, so it makes yeah. it really simple. That's a blessing. Yes. Okay, so venue for both. Yes. Now, with both these weddings, I'm assuming you're wearing a tuxedo for both. 
Right. What are you wearing? <laughs> I have two dresses. If someone spills something on my gorgeous dress on the first day, I'd be nude for the second. So therefore, a second dress is absolutely necessary. Okay. But what about the bridal party? I put very small stipulations on them. They could pick their own dress. It had to be floor length, black satin, or taffeta, or perhaps an iridescent. You just told them what to do? <laughs> yes. Specifically, really? Yes. And I told them not to buy unless you sent it to me for approval. <laughs> At the end of the day, no one has the vision like I do, and they certainly and don't. No one have... has the control as you. It's true. Like it's a concept. You can't just put hodgepodge things and hope it turns out. Well, you could, but that's not my wedding. I think she's beautiful. She's lovely. She's great, but she definitely takes charge. And sometimes it, it, I get run over by that mad truck. Is there anything else that you guys want? I, I want a pony. See, I need an entrance that is worthy of a princess, and princesses pony? have ponies. <laughs> Yes, is it is. Gonna get okay, but is this a little girl's birthday party? No, but it's a big girl's wedding, and she wants a pony. So, a pink a, pony? A pi oh, a pink pony. A pink pony. <laughs> oh, no, yes. Well, they don't grow neither, in the field pink. It's true, neither are most blondes I see, but it still finds a way to happen. <laughs> so, oh pink pony, that poor pony. A pink yeah. pony. I am not spray painting, no ponies. Okay, all right. right. No matter how far-fetched I think it is, you want a pony. I'd love a pony. A Leave it with me. I, I will work on it. Oh, my God. No, back to reality. Anything else that you guys want? Do you want an ice sculpture? Do you want something traditional, maybe with like your names carved in it? Or do you want like a fish sculpture that they use for the seafood buffet? <gasps> hey, that sounds good. Yeah. Ice animals, really? Yeah. You want a pink pony, forget it. Sure. No, no, no. Okay. People like I think this they will be like kind that. of drunk by then, when by the time seafood comes out. So go on that, honey. Uh, but OK, but you want something like that. Anything else I need to know about this wedding? Is weddings. Here's the thing. Okay. I'm all about expectations, and I expect amazing stuff. And from you and from you, I need a game. And anything other than that will be seen almost as an act of aggression. So we don't want that. I'm very pleasant, but I need what I need, and I want what I <laughs> You're want. You're very direct. I <laughs> am. And I think it make, good fences make good neighbors. I totally believe that. As long as those fences are really tall, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> OK, all right. I know your vision. I got it. Pink, girly, perfect with a game. Right. Traditional, a little more sedated. Yeah. I need to know what this budget is. Fair enough. Right. <sighs> Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Is this for both weddings? Absolutely, yeah. One budget, two weddings. Right. Coming up. Really, you're not ever supposed to look at dresses after you've purchased, but it is stunning. Most brides don't even get one dress. It's just <laughs> try it. I, no, I can't let you. I can't. My mom grew up being taught that if you wore white at your wedding, it meant purity. So obviously, I wasn't pure, so I had to pick, think of another color. So basically, going with what my mom um, was taught and what she stood for, that's why I went with the pink. But yet, my pink, pink is my favorite color. When it comes to planning a wedding, you rarely get two for the price of one. Two weddings? One ceremony, but there'll be two receptions. Why? Spread in two days. Because he can't compromise. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal if doubling up on receptions meant a double take on the budget. My intentions when I went to the bridal salon were just to try on the dresses that I'd purchased, the day one and the day two dress, because it's important that I had two. But you know what? At the end of the day, you cannot stifle the creative process of those who are fabulous. Yes, this beautiful. is beautiful. I know. And I the laces know. are stunning, like me. And the okay. ribbing in the back. This really? one is day two. Yes, it is. Right? This is like your dream. Yes, this is my dream dress. And the other one that you tried the more Elegant. Elegant one is for day one. Yeah. Yeah. Two right. dresses were perfect for me because that one's more Dio's expecting. Let's be right. serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very whimsical and fun in every little girl's fantasy. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a day one. So, oh, first See, that's dress. even. That is, is gorgeous. It's, it's nice because it's like completely different from the one that you have here. It but is completely different. It's still kind of sassy. Okay. Totally suits the whole traditional Portuguese thing, but yeah. still a little different like me. But this one, this is the dress. But oh, at the yeah. same time, question, question. This what? looks kind of. Heavy, kind of restrictive only with like the dancing part afterwards. Do you have a party dress, anything like that? Party Maybe. dress? She's already got two dresses. Yeah. It would be nice to be able to be a little more free to dance. Most brides don't even get one dress. It's their dream. You know Why should she be satisfied with two dresses when three are possible? Look at this. Oh. Step aside. Look, okay. <laughs> look, look at this. It goes up perfectly. You have enough oh. room to, you know, do a little, <laughs> do a little <laughs> movement. I'm not saying I'd try anything, because really, you're not ever supposed to look at dresses after you've purchased. 
but it is stunning. Slipping into this dress means slipping out of the budget. How much would that one cost? It's about $8.50, $8.20. See, that's I agree. less expensive than the other two dresses. Just you should try it on. No, this is no, so, it's no, so, no, no, it's I me. can't let you. I can't. You I think it's gorgeous. It <gasps> wow. No. That is beautiful. This is me. This embodies I agree. me. You know, just you know, try it. it's really her just, friend. Just try it. This can only spell trouble. All right, ladies. Of course, I don't have heels at the moment, but oh, there's just something about oh this. Oh, my I'm gosh. sorry. OK, this is me. That is you. This is like, me in a dress. Spin. Our bride and her spending seem to be spinning out of control. Stunning. $1,000. Fabulous. Plus the other two dresses. $3,000. You guys are real buzzkills, you know that? <laughs> it is so I, worth no, it. No, no, I think I'm so, too. You, it's beautiful. But three thousand dollars, like I'm, I'm just. This is three yes. million dollars, beautiful. Kay. It's over. We're purchasing. <laughs> right on. Bring this one up. Right. You ready? We'll get you out of the dress. Who can say no to the Samp band? And when I saw the band, I knew I had to have them. They were amazing. I totally love to have a salmon band. Oh, I don't know if you guys do weddings and stuff. Yeah, sure. Yeah? All the time. How much would it cost? Between $1,500, $2,000, something like that. Yeah, that sounds good. It may be music to your ears, but it's out of tune with your budget. Zenobia so, going to be okay with that? Okay. No? Okay, okay, you know what? I'm going to call Angelique. Maybe you shouldn't do it. I don't think you should do it, man. Hello, Angelique speaking. Hey, Angelique, it's Dio calling. Hi, Dio. Good, how are you doing? I'm very well, thanks. So what's up? I just came across this Samba band and they are awesome. They are awesome. They are Amazing. totally awesome. Amazing. Okay, but how much are they? Somewhere between 15 to two. And I'm just thinking, since my friend Brian's doing the, the DJing, I think we're saving yeah. the money anyways on that so we can just hire the Samba band. Yeah, but your friend is doing it, but have to get equipment, right? Yeah. So it means this is still going to be above your basic budget. But you know, mainly the reason why I really want this is because my dad is Brazilian and, you know, he's not with me right now. So he's passed already. And I know that if he was here and he saw this, this would remind him of home and I think this would be so important to him. And I think it would be so important to, like, the Brazilian side of the family. And I think they would absolutely love this. And you know what? You have to hear for yourself. Here, look, I'll make you uh, listen to it a little bit. Okay, play some music for Angelique. Angelique, wow. did you hear that? Wow. That, you know, that sounds amazing. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it's totally awesome. I got to have this for the wedding. OK. What I can hear in your voice, this means a lot to you. Mm -hmm. And I will say, it's hot. That's going to be something that everybody is going to remember. So totally. did you speak to Sonobia? I figured I'd swing it by you, since you're the wedding planner. Right. You would know. I just need to make sure Sonobia is on our side. I think she'll understand where I'm coming from. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Angelique. Awesome. I entrusted Angelique with the decor, which was supposed to be amazing and fabulous and cosmopolitan and me. And looking at budget, I see why she brought me to the home of the woman's, we'll say, paper bag princess decor. But I'm no paper bag princess. No, Sorry. No, no. Uh, this is stuff from my wedding and from my shower. Okay. Yeah. See, remember we were talking about like different decor items for your wedding for the, the second day and all in pink and Alexa mm. has all this stuff and she's selling it. Yes, I would sell it as well. Yes, I can see why you'd want to do that. It's, this is, is this for my shower or anything? Because that's, no, that's no, happened. No, for um, the wedding. Because we're on a budget and I just wanted you to see uh, that there are items out there that we can get on a budget that are within your color theme. Mm -hmm. I can give you these two matching vases. Only $15 for both, they match. Of course, 15 And sounds... these are great. I could give you all three of these for $5. That's a bargain. Wow, that's, that's like real cheap. That's really sure. affordable. It is real cheap. You're right. It sounds Gosh, great. Yeah, it sounds real cheap. You're right. The word cheap and our bride rarely meet. Angelique told me that you just needed a lot of pink stuff, so I pulled yeah. out everything that was pink from the shower and the wedding. Your shower and wedding must have been stuff of legend. This is beautiful, <laughs> honestly. Um, Those are fun to work with. They, you know what? They are fun. You know, I had one of these when I was about four or five years old. It's obvious that this bride's feathers were getting ruffled. I like this. This is cute because that yeah. would be Very a nice cute. way. We could even turn that into like a card box for you. Wow. Yeah, that's, 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 that's stuff is real cheap. 
Cheap is definitely not the word Zenobia is looking for right now, Dio. I'm not sure this would be for me. I can see this okay. is so you, and I understand that this is, this is, I mean, I could see the piece here I could buy for like re-gifting or for giving to somebody perhaps. This isn't really gonna, go, it's not gonna work. I see where you thought pink and oh, so love it. You know, thank you so much, Alexa, for having me. Oh, you're welcome. And for us in your home. Well, thanks for coming I, anyway course, to take a look. No problem, this is spectacular. Thank you. We're done here, so let's, let's go. Let's just. Good luck with your search. Thank you so right. much. Well, I thanks, Alexa. That, that was quite thank you. Again. I guess our bride has no second thoughts for secondhand steals. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna just kind of gonna stop for a second. What happened in there, Angelique? I totally want something that's high end or at least looks so. That looks like something I pick up at like the dollar store. Like that was crazy. That was so not what I was looking for at all. I know, but sweetie, a game is also for me keeping you on budget. I need my big day to be my big day. That would be embarrassing. I need to have the decor be beautiful because that's my big thing. That's my food and drink to the Portuguese is the core to Miss Zenobia Williams, okay? And I need that. We'll do some research and um, I'll set something up for you and I think you'll be happy. I appreciate that and that's all I could ask for. That's all right. what I need. Okay. Coming up. You don't even have budget for your day two meal. Now, like beef, no. you don't need beef, that's fine. The chicken, I'm sure it was lovely, but you could do one thing. Could you please like leave the food alone? Um, the type of flowers we had, no idea. Purple, white. I think a lot of them were um, fake flowers. Yes, except for my bouquet. Except for your bouquet. Yeah. Um, how much they cost, no idea. Like I said. You weren't really involved too much. When making purchases for your wedding, remember, sometimes a bargain really is a bargain. What happened in there, Angelique? I totally want something that's high end or at least looks so. That looks like something I pick up at like the dollar store. And later, we'll let you know if this bride went high end or just sent her budget soaring. Well, we decided to have a food tasting in the backyard, and it was great. It's something unique that halls, I guess, do now because they're so busy. I was definitely looking forward to taste the kind of food that we're going to have for day one, and it was great, and I loved it. You love any food. Wow. So here's the fish and wow, rice. Wow, that looks great. Honey. And then on top of that. so much food. Yeah, Here is go. your beef and chicken. Still not everything, because you don't have your dessert, you don't have your hors d'oeuvres, you don't have the soup, and you don't have the late seafood buffet. And there's this... a sweet table too, I thought. Well, yes. I'm sorry, This I'm just gonna have a drink, because you know what, guys? I know this is just a tasting, and I get that, yeah, but, but this is just a lot of food. Like It's not this, a the, lot of this, food. No? I mean, not for what okay. you're getting, not like, for the traditional Portuguese menu. This is not. The whole point of a tasting is for you guys to say, this is what my wedding meal is going to be. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's perfect. I love it. Is this like, what, 30, 40 a person? Oh, oh, no, 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 honey. This, all this, with your hors d'oeuvres and the seafood, the whole thing, you're well over $100 a head. Okay. Oh, Whoa, $100 a person, and, and then there's like bar costs, because you absolutely have to have a bar, because that would be sacrilegious otherwise. Of course. Um, None of the men will show up if there's not an open bar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so true. Dio, $100 a head. Do you understand how many people we have coming to our wedding? Yeah, and they'll all be hungry. They'll be, you can't wait to stick their teeth into this stuff. This exactly. stuff is great. And it'll take a big bite out of your budget. You guys don't have enough money in the budget for your day two meal, if you go with this. So, if I'm to understand you correctly, all of this? Yes. Nothing day two. That is correct. Okay, okay, so what don't you like on your plate? Because that's what you need to determine so I can determine what's getting the heck out of here. Because that is not, no, no, no. I'm having just, all no. that's on this oh, plate. Oh, but you're I'm... not. But you can't. What is getting off the plate? Just tell, let me know, because I can just take it right off right now. Like, nah. you don't need beef, that's fine. That's okay. You know what, salad I will keep because you need that. The chicken, I'm sure it was lovely, uh, but you could do one thing. Could you please like leave the food alone? <laughs> you don't You're need touching salad. a man's food. The family is expecting this well, on Saturday. Well, so nobody's Saturday. expecting to eat something the next day too, and um, that doesn't seem to matter to you. Why? Well, Why they don't, don't have to have so much food on the second day. Oh, or any at all. It doesn't, it doesn't matter about, you don't even have budget for a piece of bread. Well, there's some food for thought. How about a cash bar? So now you're just looking to make people angry. You're just looking to have a riot at the wedding? Like, is that what you're looking for? That's right. Give them no food and booze that they paid for and see what happens. But I'm but... sure we can do something for the second day. Like what? Like, give me more money? Because I need to feed people. Of course. So we'll try to find something for the second day. Something. But I know I just can't, I can't not not have this. Let it be known, Dio. We are having food at the second day. We will be over budget because of it. 
And if you ever talk to me about budget, I'm simply going to say bon appetit to remind you that this is why we're over budget. I don't feel there's any expenditure in the future that I could make that truly, Angelique, would cost more than this does. So realistically, until I exceed whatever this comes out to for everybody, you can say nothing to me. Eat up, drink up, be merry, because that's what we're doing. But I don't want to hear about the budget, because I'm really just going to enjoy my Portuguese meal. So after seeing the first cheaper or more economical decor, which I hated, Angelique did bring me to another vendor to take a look at what he was able to offer. And that had a different result. Now imagine this on all your tables. When you walk in, it's a sea of pink. Oh, mm -hmm. in shades of pink. And that's exactly what Richard's gonna do for you, right? right? Exactly. Woo! I love it. This is me but a table. <laughs> Can you make yeah. this fluffy? This is what I need to know. Well, fluffy. Anything that you want. And the flowers, the same thing. I would pull out more and more cream or more and more pinks. And less Light and less, and less orange? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Watch, are you ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are making magic happen right now. Well, they are making your money disappear. Right? Actually, this is game game stuff right here. See? I tried to provide something that was a little bit more on budget. Which we hated. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. And I said I was going to bring this. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. He'll bring his A game too. <laughs> exactly. I can add as many layers as you want. We can okay. extract as many layers back. The issue is always money, money, money. This is my big thing. This is like your Portuguese food. That's true, but it's for family. This yeah. is for me. Sonobia. Yay! Oh. And we know that Sonobia gets what Sonobia wants. How much is this all yeah. be? Is there really a price for my happiness? Mm -hmm. uh, see, the answer is no. And I thought happiness couldn't be bought. That is not a budget. It, it is a budget. It's a budget. There budget needs, needs to be numbers. Okay, what are my numbers? Forty-five hundred dollars. Okay. Ah, that's a so bit sorry. much. That's really minimum, honestly. Like right. forty-five hundred. We're and not I, doing minimum. We're no. no, we're not doing minimum. No, we're we're not. Not. So that's not our price. I'm sorry, but I'm thinking, you know, something toward the sixty-five hundred dollar range. Okay. If it's full right. range. Okay. That's crazy. So how far okay. off is this from the original budget? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to know. Thousands. I die a little when I hear that. <laughs> Thousands. Oh my God. Don't worry, you have insurance, and I'm the beneficiary. It's okay. <laughs> well, it is until death do you part. Honey, this is my big thing. You have your big Portuguese banquet, and it's beautiful, and there's drinking, and there's everything, and it's wonderful. So I'm just saying, in the interest of fairness and love and making your future wife very happy, and happy wife is a happy life. And a happy wife is a spending wife. Reluctantly, okay. Theo, this is why I'm married. Because you love me and I love you. And I love you. Done. Thank you. Really? I have a wedding. You're coming too, right? Of course. Having a nice sculpture at the buffet table it was definitely an important part of the whole Butchie's wedding. It's something that they're amazed by. This is our studio here. We made some preset ice carvings for your selection. Amazing. Wow. Isn't that good? <laughs> that's amazing. That's, that's incredible. Dio, honey, it's a castle. Wow, and that's me because I'm sort of a princess. Okay, so no, hold it. up. We're not here for a castle. We're not not here for a castle. Clearly, it's been no, made for us. To we're see. here for day one, and I'm actually liking this here. Oh, I actually oh, think okay. my family would totally love this. I, I totally I like, like this. this. Yeah, I, I do totally do like this. I think that's more traditional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. traditional. Yeah. yeah, exactly. See, it, it is. Yeah, it's traditional. I think we're walking on thin ice here. I like it. I totally like it. Let, let like, me just ask first, though. How much is this one? That one there's three hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's it not sounds, bad. That's I like it. I like the price. price. How much is the castle? Well, the castle for the princess is four hundred and fifty dollars. Not oh, that's bad. That's more money. No. That, that's more money. Well, we never talked about having a nice sculpture for the well, next just, day. Let's just hold that for a minute. Now, what can we do to make that pink though? So we could add some lighting to the bottom of it. Do a nice little pink illumination to it, or if you want it to be very interactive for your guests, we can convert it into an ice luge oh. and have a little bit of pink champagne filtering through it. <laughs> I okay, well, I already that. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I understand, but that is not what we were here exactly. for. It's more money than deals. It's true. Well, okay, the problem is I think I kind of don't like that. 
I love your work. I don't like that. What else could we look at that maybe would be a little more modern that is also an ice sculpture? So we've got one that's here, a ah. little silhouette of a bride and groom with your initials on it. Ooh. That's very inexpensive as well. That's something that- How much that, is that one? 175. See, there's your wheelhouse. But why is it you keep making Dio go down in price? I know. Because we have a budget, Angelique. Now you see the budget. Well, there's some cold, hard reality. I don't want to compromise on this. Okay, fine. Then we'll get what you want, and also what I want, and ta-da! You'll need more than magic to pay for this wedding. Oh, yeah. I love you. What you we know? do is we'll do the same castle. Yes. Same size. Yes. Convert it into the ice luge. Pink champagne. Yeah. 350. So 350, 350. In total, 700. 700. This way, everyone's got a nice carving for each of the days. Okay, I like the compromise. I can't believe you're getting what you want again. This is your future, Dio. Get used to it. I think you just want to up me. I think, no, I just want us to be fabulous. And sometimes I have to compensate for you. That's all. Coming up. It doesn't make sense to me to have a pony. She's my little fantasy. It just seems like an overblown little girl's party. At first, we were going to have an open bar, and it was like, what, two weeks before the wedding? We realized we couldn't do that. Like, we did not have the money to get married, and at one point, we thought we were going to have to call it off. When planning a wedding, you should always try to stick close to your initial budget. So how far oh. off is this from the original budget? Yeah. <laughs> That's you don't want to know. know. Yeah. Thousands. I die a little when I hear that. <laughs> oh, thousands. Oh, my God. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know how close Dio came to dying and if the budget kicked the bucket. I didn't think it actually happened, but I couldn't believe you actually wanted a pony. Right, okay, on. so this is the pony barn. Amazing. And this is where the ponies live. <laughs> and these are the two ponies <laughs> that you're going to select from. That's amazing. Look. Can we see them? Yeah. Yay. Careful. These little ponies may trample over your budget. <gasps> so this is Cinder. Hi, Cinder. Hi. <laughs> Dio, it's a pony. Cinder, You're so beautiful. Pretty. This is going to sound ridiculous. Can we paint the pony? She wants it pink, and I'm trying to make her happy. This pony, it wouldn't work out quite well to paint her pink. She's not experienced enough to have that done with her, but Nana would be a lot more suitable. OK, but could we make put bows in her hair, braid their hair? Definitely. The other pony is Nana, who's making all the noise. Are you jealous, <laughs> Nana? Hi. Oh, she is jealous. She's a yeah. little bit smaller than Cinder. How she's old friendly. is she? Nana is 14. Oh, oh so 14. she's a little bit She's more. a little bit older, a little bit more experienced. Does she know how to count? Does she do that? Like She's counting the days for your celebration. Aww, thank you, there you Nana. go. <laughs> or is she counting the dollars she'll earn? Hey. <laughs> She's Stop talking it. to a pony. Well, of course I can't address her in the third person. She's standing right here. I, I, I'm just not convinced yet of the pony and why the is it there. The good news is you don't have thing. to be convinced of it. Okay, but how is it being used? Is it? It's an entrance. Entrance to the church? No, no, no. She's not coming to your day. No, well, danger to the hall? No. Yeah. What we'll probably do is have her there greeting guests. Can I ask, how much would that cost for two hours with Nana? Um, generally, Nana's price starts at $300 for the hour. OK. So if you did need her for the two hours, it would be $600. OK. That's great. $600 for two hours right. for a yeah. pony? Right. Mm -hmm. Gosh, you could paint me pink for that kind of money. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And all they do is just see it and see the pony and pet it. The pony. And look at how much fun you're having just doing that with Nana right now. And she's not even dressed. That price also includes the handler, which would be myself. Okay. Transportation costs, which is huge. Yeah. And like food, Everything and water. Is in. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's a great price, but it doesn't make sense to me to have a pony. It just seems like an overblown little girl's party. This is a wedding. But honey, here's the thing. At the end of the day, this is about me having some sort of entertainment or something that I really love. And I don't want a band. I don't want yeah, it's too funny. much of anything. I just want something that brings people joy in an unexpected way, which is kind of like me. So the point is we're getting her because she's inexpensive for what she brings. She's my little fantasy, and I haven't questioned yours. And realistically speaking, she's a great price. It's all in. She's going to look beautiful. You guys find her hilarious. This is a done deal. Sorry, okay. Dia. 
You'll that, lose this time, buddy. That's fine. I will just have laps on that day. You will. <laughs> I guess we're getting the pony. Yeah. No use closing the door after the horse has been let out. <laughs> <laughs> a pony. Mm -hmm. You really wanted a pony. Yes, I did. Wow. There was a day that me and the, the bridesmaids, some of them anyway, had gone out to find some special items for you. And I thought, since I'm buying a little something special for my groom and my wedding, that this would be a great time to bring up with them that they would need to do likewise and see how they felt about purchasing a second dress for day two. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I was thinking that we would get something <laughs> super pink for the wedding. Super the second pink. day. Super pink, what's super pink? Super like, pink. Like a second dress? Is what I was thinking. We have black for the first day and then pink for the second day because that's the whole theme, right? Are you serious? I am very serious. You want us to get a second dress for Sunday? I, it would be nice because you guys, I want you to look your best. It's like being models almost in my no, wedding. Are you? No! That's madness! <laughs> we already really? paid so much money for the black dress. Yeah. And, and they're gorgeous and you can wear them again, but this is something specific for me. Like, the other ones are kind of, like, those are kind of your dress, you know, because you got to pick the design that but I hated. It's three but weeks to the wedding. Like, where well, are we gonna get the dresses? I found yeah. it. They're super cute. They're sort of satiny and they're clingy a little bit, but uh, not, they're modest still. You know, know me, I have I, taste, I, right? I, uh. Okay, but how much does this gonna cost? And I got a great deal. 250 that's it. Two Alterations two. in. Two, 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 no, it, it, it is a good money. deal. That's a lot of dollars. So that's more expensive than the first dress. Well, that's because you got a bargain, so therefore pass the savings on to me. So the black dress right, was even yeah. a problem. So now yeah. you're adding on a pink dress? Like, like let's put those two numbers together. No, let's, let's do some math. One dress for both days. At the risk of sounding horrible, it's my day. And it's going to be super pink, because that's what I want. But can you hear the silence? I, I hear it, except for your voice, who's objecting. And I'm like that. I know, but, but this is like so $50. plus. $50. Remember, these are like five other girls who are not here. They'd and they fine. will not be happy. I think we should just stick with the one dress. Like, Then seriously. how am I going to have the pink that I want for my second day? Like, honestly. Let's compromise. I'll wear pink shoes. I'll put on You're, pink nail okay. polish. You know what? You I'll put a pink ribbon now. in my hair. OK, OK. What about maybe, like, accessories that are also pink? that I pick. How much are they? Because we could go to like the dollar store and get some then. Okay, see, and this is the problem. This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what about me says dollar store to you? Like what says? Okay, you can have creative control if we could have maybe some price control. Uh, no. Okay. Why didn't you pick the accessories? Okay, I like this so far. It's about me. And then accessories. you pay for them. Money talks, but our bride looks speechless. You know what? I am so sick of you guys. <laughs> Fan out and find me pink. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think they had a budget. You know what? Budget smudge it. It's my wedding. They yep. knew going in that this was going to be a production. It was me they were dealing with. Angelique wanted to talk to us about where our budget was going. And so we talked about it over drinks. Guys, I really wanted to bring you here to talk about something that's got me really concerned, OK? Your wedding has taken on a life of its own. I know. And it's become a runaway train that needs to be pulled back in. You are so over, it's painful. Listen, oh listen, gosh. dresses, yeah. two, because we have one day, you have one dress. Yeah. But because you're having a reception the next day, you wanted another dress. It only made sense. If someone spilled wine on me or something, I'd be done. Okay, but that's fine, okay. Right. But most brides don't have two wedding dresses. Most brides don't have two weddings. Two that's right. right. Really, I've gotten good prices on my dresses. We can all admit that. That's why it wasn't such a big deal for me to have that third dress for dancing. Hold on, hold on. There's a third dress? What? Yeah. Did you get the dress for free? No, I did not get it for free, but it was virtually free. So now There's you have three dresses, and you're now telling me you're spending even more money? Yes, but it's already been spent, so I'm not continuing to spend. We're talking about money here. Deal. You came all the time with her. You fold like a cheap deck of cards. At least something is cheap around here. This is why your budget has gone out of control. And I know I'm on Zenobia and I feel bad, sweetie, but haven't you got something to share? Because there is an aspect that I notice has not come up, and that is the band. What are we talking about? What's going on here? What's the band? There was a samba band and dancers. That was above and beyond your DJ cost. Dancers. Really? Well, there were dancers there, but I... So other women at my wedding taking the attention. Is that right? This is a yes or no question. Well, 
Not so much. To, I mean, uh, no, we no, can no, cut no, the this dancers. Is, this is, no, that, done. You can just go ahead and cut okay. that. Okay, that is that's no, fine. Okay, no discussion there. Yeah. Over. Dancers can be gone. Taken away. See? They're not Which there. is good. Like okay, so that's See, I compromised here. That's not compromising. Yeah. That's, that's, no, that's, no, sorry. That's that something you shouldn't have done extra. in the beginning. Because realistically, we're not having the band. But this is something for my father because he's not here okay. with us. And so I wanted to do something that I know he would be encouraged for. And that's why, initially, why I saw it. And Fair the enough. band is great. You're going to love the band. And says, we will use yeah. it in a way that it will showcase you, so right. it will make you the center of attention around it. How about that? Fine. Bottom line, you need to Cuts. cut. And I'm cutting nothing. But then I need to just warn you. You guys are going to be over budget. This is what we'll do. I will give you a new number that is close to where we are, and then both of you will feel better about the entire situation. That way, shoot, you know what? I'll even go bigger so that we're under budget, and then you guys can relax and get some sleep. Sounds great to me. That's not uh, how it works. I know. You know, we're gonna be paying for it. I know you're gonna be paying for it. I know, we're going to be paying for it. You're gonna be paying for it. Well, you know what, honey? You can cut. I'm not cutting. It's my princess day, and that's where we're gonna stay. I needed, like, a few more drinks after that. I was fine. I just... I was fine. Coming up. What song is this? I hate this play. song. This is the song he's got the girls gave him. Oh my gosh. No. Even to this day, I, I still think she's the most beautiful girl I ever met. And when she was walking down the aisle, she just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. When it comes to making group decisions for your wedding, it's a good idea to hear everyone's opinion. Are you serious? You want us to get a second dress for Sunday? At the risk of sounding horrible, it's midday, and it's gonna be super pink because that's what I want. But can you hear the silence? I, I hear it except for your voice who's objecting, and I'm like that. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if the budget was tickled pink or just a laughing stock. On the morning of day one, I was pretty zen. I had, at that point, thrown off all of my restrictions and stress because there was nothing I could do. The ship had sailed, the horse was out of the barn, it was over. It was just about me feeling good and looking good that day. So I was completely pampered at my salon and everything was all about me that morning, completely stress-free the morning of day one. I love it. Oh, this is incredible. My morning was pretty relaxed. I got a little jigged around, but I was at the church on time and that's all that matters because it'd be bad if I was late. Yes. It was relaxed for the guys, because the wedding planner was taking up the slack. <sighs> Laura, we have to put all these together, sweetie. Okay. I'm not impressed right now, because a lot of this stuff wasn't even told to me that I had to set it up. Like, this is hardware stuff. This is stuff I could have probably had assembled last night. Yeah, yeah, we could have packaged this up and it would have been fine. I have no idea what these things are for. I'll show, yeah. <laughs> is that pedals around. Okay. So it goes in like the that. center. Okay, good. Pedals, and away we go. And while Angelique was up to her elbows in hardware, the chaos was beginning with the girls. There were so many things that were kind of working against me. I was late, and I mean, you would be too if makeup appointments ran long, locked out of the room. It was a little bit crazy. You know what, everyone's gonna be waiting a little bit, because I said 2.30. Oh, I totally told, because I know how people are. I know how brides are. There's no way that I knew I was getting there. <laughs> on time. It looked like Zenobia was going to be fashionably late and yes. someone had to break the news to the groom. You know Zenobia, right? Yes. Uh, she has called me and told me that they are running behind time. <laughs> They're chasing it, actually. They're chasing time? Chasing time. They're gonna be about 30 to 45 minutes late. We just need to be patient. She will be here in all her glorious splendor, <laughs> as Zenobia is, and we'll get started. However, I need to know from you. Yeah. Do we want to push everything back, including service and like dinner time? I think we should push it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I will let the kitchen know and we will stay on time, but just an hour behind. That's fine. Excuse me, folks. Uh, unfortunately, the bride and her maids are not here yet, so we need about a half hour for them to get here. So please stretch your legs. Thank you. At the end of the day, it all culminates me being quite a bit late. But you know what? Again, people will wait for fabulous. Good job. The bride finally arrived two hours late, but soon faced an issue that was not music to her ears. What song is this? Where's their song? I don't know, but that's not it. This is the song he's got the girls gave him. Oh my gosh. No. Don't worry. It's 
It's okay. Yeah, I hate right. this song. That's okay. Tell Please. him to switch it now. Yeah. Amen. I didn't care what happened that day or what's going on. That moment was the moment for me, and all I wanted to see was Zenobia walk down that aisle. Zenobia, you're so beautiful right now. <laughs> Zenobia, I give up my life for you. You've shown me parts of myself I've never known. And I want to say thank you for your patience and your mercy and your kindness with me. And I'm so proud to be your wife. <sighs> Deal. Do you take Zenobia to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Zenobia. Yeah. Do you take Deal to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. It's my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Do you? You may kiss your bride. The ceremony was filled with emotion, and the groom's reception was a party to remember, with a full Portuguese meal and all the traditional fixes. But it was the samba band that could not be beat. Samba band was amazing. I loved every minute. I didn't stop dancing from the moment they got in until they stopped. I sweated buckets, but I did not care. Samba band was the great. The samba band was thrilling. Coming up. Ah, I love it. She's so worth the money. She is wow. fabulous. Thank you for getting all dressed with your feathers. She's fabulous. <laughs> well, apparently, when she walked down the aisle, I, I guess um, I, I don't remember her being late, but uh, apparently, the first thing I looked at her and I says, uh, "Are you wearing a bra?" You know. So but you don't I remember more, saying no, that. I, I remember I more, you I saying that. In it it that, wasn't yeah. like, "Oh, I love you and you look beautiful." It was, "Are you wearing a bra?" So yeah, it was That's classic. Right. When it comes to your wedding day, sometimes time is not always on your side. They're going to be about 30 to 45 minutes late. We just need to be patient. She will be here in all her glorious splendor, <laughs> as Zenobia is, and we'll get started. Soon, we'll reveal if this couple stands a chance of coming in under budget. Reception day two was absolutely dreamy. The pink decor was fabulous. I think it was an excellent representation of me. It felt like a beautiful, chic party, and that's precisely what I wanted. It was beautiful and perfect. It was like me, actually, so good you job. You in a room. Me in a room. It was like I had transformed into a wedding, and that's what it was. The reception was in the pink. Cue the pony. Hello, Nana. How are you, my dear? Look, Nana. We're gonna make you pretty. Poor Nana. Always a pony, never a bride. She looks like a little princess. She does. She's the princess pony for the day. Let's see if she meets the princess's approval. Ah! She's so great. Oh, oh you are so pretty. Hi. There's Nana. How are you? You're all dressed for the party, aren't you? Oh my gosh, what a great outfit. Nana is so pretty. She brought her pink poo-poo bucket. Yes. Thank you for matching. Theo, she's so worth the money. She's so worth the money. She is wow. fabulous. Thank you for getting all dressed with your feathers. She's fabulous. <laughs> and now it was so long, Nana. Hello, party. <laughs> Zenobia got her party of pink, and her guests enjoyed a second night of celebrations. Oh my gosh, yeah. day two has it's been awesome. amazing. It's spectacular, <laughs> it's elegant, it's fanciful, it's so me, and it's been incredible. Both days are really good, they combine us beautifully, yeah. but day two is all mine and it's been fantastic. I love it. This is perfection Angelique brought her A-game. Fantastic. Fantastic, yes. But will you be a fan of the bill? The original budget that we gave Angelique was $35,000. Pink Pony, which I couldn't believe that Angelique pulled it off, was $300. The two ice sculptures for the two days came to one price of $700. I really think Dio's was wonderful and traditional, but mine is the showstuffer that everybody loved. 
total cost for Angelique was $3,000, which I think is well worth it. She helped us out so much. The total cost of my wedding wardrobe, which was three dresses plus accessories, only came to $3,660. And if you think about the price of being fabulous, that was a bargain. The total cost for the photography was $5,700. The total cost of my decor for both days, mostly mine, being completely fabulous, and beautifully executed was only $6,500. Well, the fee for the venue for both days were $32,200. And you know, with, um, with the food and the open bar, um, I think it was just well worth it. My total miscellaneous cost, which included my fabulous cake that was taller than the flower girls, the pink shawls for the bridesmaids, samba band, and extra invitations, was a total price of only $10,220. What we actually spent on the wedding was $62,280, a difference of $27,280. You know what? There is no price for awesomeness. And we had two days, and they were amazing. You've got to admit, amazing, amazing, right? OK. They were pretty good. Great, yeah, exactly. So the snowocracy reigns supreme. Thank it's, you. It sure it's does. Amazing. Live and well. That's right. Yeah. Get used to it, buddy. The Casa Luge was flowing, the bridesmaids were adorned in pink, and Zenobia was ready to show off her third dress. The only question left is, did Nana upstage our princess bride? You are so beautiful. Yeah, they say right? Oh, so precious. During our, our wedding reception, he did stand up and he said, I will always treat her really good. <laughs> we raced off to the to the church? It wasn't a church. Uh, 